Jesus has come to make wrong things right. By that, I don't just mean to correct things that are wrong. I mean to reconcile, to bring things back together that have been broken or torn apart. This is true in our own relationship with God. It's true in our own relationship with ourselves. It's true in our relationship with other people and how we interact with those relationships. But it's also true in our relationship with the earth, with the created order. It goes all the way back to our origin story in Genesis. It's actually quite a beautiful story of, 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 a, of a garden and God creating someone to care for the garden. As a matter of fact, the words that God uses when he talks about the creation and the instructions for humanity over creation and over the care of the earth are to serve and to protect. I mean, think about that for a second. That's fascinating. A lot of times people will say that uh, the calling of humanity is to subjugate or to control or to bring under their authority the earth. That's been a, a whole generational understanding. But when you look at the text in Genesis, you'll understand that God created humanity to steward something that was given to them as a gift. The earth is a gift given to humanity to steward. How does this change our relationship with earth? How does this change our relationship with the created order? rather than controlling it or subjecting it or dismissing it or making it serve us. The actually design of Eden before domination and before suffering and before brokenness and sin entered the world, according to the text, according to the Bible, according to the Genesis account, was that humanity would serve and protect the earth. Now, can I ask you this? What does that look like in our lives to serve and to protect I want to suggest just a couple things. One, it means to change our posture. Instead of us thinking about what can I get out of this, it's us thinking how can I serve this? That's a different posture. This is going to be a principle that will help you in making peace in everything. How do I serve instead of subjugate or dominate in my relationship with God? How do I serve instead of subjugate or dominate in my relationship with myself? How do I serve instead of dominate and subjugate in relationship to other people? And how do I serve instead of dominate and subjugate in my relationship with the created order? Those kind of questions, even just that question, how do I serve, will actually open up to you your original destiny. This is what you were designed for, to be a servant of goodness, to be a servant of peace, to be a servant of forgiveness, to be a servant of mercy, to be a servant of God so that you could represent him. And this is by far what Romans is talking about surely. When Paul the Apostle in Romans says that the entire created order is groaning out for the children to become the children of God. What would it look like if we restored what it is that God had already created us to be? How do you serve as a minister of reconciliation? I hope Jesus will help you capture the wonder and the beauty and the goodness of making things right in your life and in the lives in which we're a part of.